Hi and welcome once again to Channel Fish. In today's video we are going to discuss the three types of north that we come across when we work with things like maps and compasses. And so on your screen you'll see these three types of north. We have true north, magnetic north as well as grid north. So let's have a look at true north first. And what you see on the screen is a spinning globe and we all know that the earth spins around its axis and it's an imaginary line that runs through the earth right through the middle. And so if this line goes exactly from bottom to top, then at the top you will have north where you see the arrow pointing. That is your true north. So that's very easy to understand. But now let's move on to magnetic north. And so magnetic north is the direction in which the needle of your compass points. And it's not the same as true north. And the reason for this is because the earth has a magnetic field. And this magnetic field determines where the, the needle of your compass points to. What you also need to understand is that the magnetic field of the earth changes over time. But we will talk about that later. On this picture you will see that there is a difference between the magnetic north pole and the geographic north pole of the earth. So it's important to remember these things. And so this difference between true north and magnetic north is called magnetic declination. Now as I've mentioned earlier, the magnetic field of the earth changes and so the magnetic declination will also change over time. And something else to remember is that the magnetic declination also differs from place to place. And that's why I've decided to post a link down in the description. And if you click that link, you can find the magnetic declination for just about every place on Earth. So I think that's quite useful. Then let's move on to Grid North. And uh, Grid North is simply found by using these lines of longitude and so these vertical lines, so if you just follow them to the top of the map, that is called grid north. And very often navigators ignore the difference between grid north and true north because the difference is so small. It can be up to two degrees to the left or to the right, but like I said, very often it is ignored. But pay close attention to your teacher because they might want you to work with a very specific type of north and also in your exams and tests read your questions very carefully and make sure you know what is expected right so what you see next is a diagram and this is what you will find on certain types of maps and once again we can see they show you and this is specific so if you see this diagram on a map you should remember that it is specific to that map because as I've mentioned before magnetic declination changes from place to place and so on and um, there we can see true north we can see grid north and we can see that the difference between those two isn't that much but then you will see that the, the difference between the magnetic north and true north can be quite big so these are the different types of north and if you are new to map work and if you no need some more guidance on things like the different directions of the compass rows as well as how to apply direction you can click the links down in the description below I've posted quite a few links there also there is a link to one of my videos where I explain things like magnetic declination in more detail as well as how to do a magnetic bearing and a normal bearing thank you so much for watching if you have any questions pop them down in the comment section below feel free to like comment and subscribe see you next time goodbye